Every machine needs power to function. Electrical appliances need electricity. Now, living creatures need the spark. The spark existed in the beginning. And then we exist. Because of the spark, we exist. It's like ex ex electrical appliances exist, are made because of the electricity. So when the energy is fully charged, the electrical appliances can function. So our living, we, our liv uh, living creatures, also need to be fully charged up with the spark to function well. So when we have no spark, we cannot digest very well. We are not happy. Our immune system goes down. We call this kind of time, we are stressed. When you say you are stressed, it means you have no spark. When there's no spark, okay, let's say, let's say you're stressed when there's no spark, then how can you release that stress? You have to receive the spark. So when you're stressed, when you're stressed and you're depressed, when you listen to the wonderful music, now you release your stress. When you go out to, when you go outdoors and see the beautiful scenery, the beautiful sea, ocean, you say, ah, oh, and then you release your stress. That's how our body functions. When you listen to, uh, when you listen to the true truth, you are releasing your stress. You're fulfilling the spark. When you're out of spark, you're stressed, it means you're closer to death. That kind of feeling with the, oh, I feel like I'm dying. You say you're very sorry to death. You're sad to death. You say these kind of words because you have no spark. I feel bad. I'm angry to death. You know, these kind of words. Some people say, I'm happy to death. I'm excited to death. Means they have a lot of spark. So you have to realize the nature of the spark. We have to concentrate on this spark as you fight for your disease. You need extraordinary spark. What is new start? Do we need only the spark then? Why do we call this program new start program? Well, we can say the spark program. The spark program is better, but we say new start program. The reason is because, you know, the spark is going to work on our genes. To work very well, you need some kind of proper environment. You know, when the temperature goes down, you pass out. Even though the spark comes into you, if your body temperature goes down, you pass out. Why? 
you know, the spark is coming in, but if your body temperature goes down, you're passing out. Why? Because the condition is not fitting. So the spark cannot function you. If you don't eat, you pass out. If you're not provided oxygen, even the spark is coming in, you still pass out. You need to take enough air, fresh air. You need to take enough water. You need to have a very good diet, balanced diet as well. You need to have a very good environment and condition. Now, if you have lived far from um, the truth, the goodness, and the beauty, and plus now you have no proper environment, then you have a problem. So if you look at those patients' history, background, their lifestyle is really bad. Let's say all of a sudden you had to take care of your in-laws, families, and then, then you're busy, so you didn't exercise enough and you didn't eat well. So it means you have no good environment, and then the spark is not coming in, and then your genes are turned off. Now let's talk about this more. Now I'll give you a specific um, example. Let's say there is a bean. Now let's say we have a bean. The bean has its own program. Where? What kind of program is in the bean? This one bean will multiply and will become thousands of beans. There's a production program in the bean. Where is it recorded? In the cell. The embryo of the seed has this program. Now the program in embryo is working and then 
it'll root down and they'll, it'll bud and then it'll have stems and leaves and this one bean will multiply and then it'll have thousands of beans. That program is in the embryo of the bean. So if you open up the embryo, you will see the gene. The gene will root down and the stems and the branches and the leaves. All those pro programs are recorded in the genes and they will have fruits. These genes are recorded there in the embryo. You know, those roots, seed leaf, branches and leaves, and flowers and fruits. To work those programs well, what do you need? You need the condition, right environment. Let's say you put this seed on the table and you water it. It's not going to work. Even the spark is getting in, it's not going to work. To make this bean become a plant, you have to plant the seed. Now, what is the purpose when you plant the seed? It means you're providing enough nutrition. That's not all. You have to water it. If you don't water it, you know, it's not going to work. You need conditions. This being needs this kind of condition. What about us? So this New Star program teaches you the ideal environment. It's not like what I want. I'm not going to drink water. I'm going to drink coffee only. You know, this kind of ideas is not going to work your gene. You shouldn't drink Coca-Cola only. And you have to plant a seed and you need to water. Is that all? No. You need the sunlight. If there is no sunlight, it's not going to work. You know, proper environment is needed. Those are the basic foundation. Those are the foundational condition. No water, no sunlight. And you say, oh, this is very expensive. You know, this is very expensive root, you know, and then you drink it. It's not right. You have to provide yourself a very good condition. Now, even though you eat ginseng, it's not going to work. Uh, you didn't eat ginseng. Oh, okay. Nutrition, because you plant it. Now you provide water and you provide the sunlight. But what else do you need? What else do you need for this bean? Oxygen, yes. Oxygen is necessary. That is very natural. But it is very important. That's why we forget, because it's so natural. Now, we drink this water when you come here. How many? Four bottles of water every day. You know, 
doctors calculate usually we need to drink four bottles of water. But you know, statistically, most people in Korea, they drink only one bottle or one and a half bottle of water. So our environment, our basic environment is so bad. So now you've been drinking very little of little water, but now you're drinking four bottles of water every day, then your genes are so happy. Now as you drink, your genes become so happy. Your cells must be very happy. So water is not your medicine, but this is a lot better than medicine. You drink only one bottle of water you know, a day, but then you drink a lot of medicine instead, then your cells are not that happy. Instead of tea, but clean water. If you drink clean water, that is more helpful. Water is very important. Don't worry about the nutrition. Fresh water is very, very important for your health. Yes, coffee and cook, they're all water. I mean, liquid, but that's not right. If you plant, if you, I mean, um, put Coke to plant, they don't like it. Now, you're very thirsty. If you drink seawater, you will die quickly. The density is too high. You will be dehydrated because the density is too high. So pure water, clean water is important. Plants love clean water. Now my computer is working. Now let me draw a bean for you. Now that's the embryo. In that embryo, there's a root coming down. That's number one gene. And there's a seed leaf, that's number two. And from there, there's stem, number three. Branches coming out, that's number four. And then the leaves, that's number five. And there's a flower blooming, that's number six. And then the fruits, finally. Beans. That's number seven. So from number one to number seven, genes, they need to be turned on in order. They need to have a good timing. Wonderful. If it doesn't, if the gene is not turned on in order, time order, then it's a big problem. Now, who controls this timing? Beans? They don't know. It's an amazing story. The spark controls the timing. So the spark is not just an energy, but this spark knows how and when and which genes the spark already knows. Well, electricity, by the way, doesn't know. If you connect the wire, it doesn't care. I mean, timing, there's no timing. It just goes through. But the spark, it knows when and where and which 
genes and everything. He knows. He knows which genes should be turned off and turned on and everything. We don't know. That is the spark. Truth, beauty, goodness, love, faith, hope. Love means what you know. I love you very much, but I don't know your birthday. Hmm, that's interesting. If you truly love someone, you know. What do you know? You know, mother has a baby. And mother loves those little infants. Little babies, they love their babies very much. Now, this mother is a lot better. She knows a lot better than pediatrician. She knows when this baby wants to pee. No. Now, even though she was asleep, if the baby wants to pee, then mother wakes up. If you know, if you love, you know what they need. Love enlightens you. If a man knows his wife very much, he doesn't have to ask for her birthday present. But that most men doesn't know what to buy for her birthday. If, mu if a woman loves her husband very much, then she knows what her husband wants. For example, when she goes to the grocery store, she knows what her husband wants to eat. But if she wants to divorce, <laughs> she doesn't know. She doesn't care. She says, love, there's no love in her heart. <laughs> she might say, oh, what do you want to eat? Well, eat outside. If there is no love, she doesn't know. People don't recognize the need of other people when there's no love. So when you love, you realize the need of other people. But you know what? I really um, don't, don't, I'm not sure what my wa wife wants. If I really want my, if I really love my wife, I would know when my wife wants water. And then sometimes my wife says, "Do you want some water?" And then my wife says, "How did you know, honey?" I, s you know, sometimes give her water, and that's what she said. No, I was reading a book. And my wife came to me and, do you want some persimmon, dried persimmon? And I wanted that dried persimmon at the time. That's it. So when you love each other, you know, dried persimmon is nothing. But, but when you hear and when you feel this excitement, that is love. It's not the matter of dried persimmon, but it's about love. It's about the spark. That is a healthy life. Full of spark in your life. That is new start life. Number one, you need to plant in the ground, 
that is for nutrition. Okay, that is N. That is the capital initial. N and the water means W. And sunlight is S. Now, nutrition and water and sunlight should be provided properly, properly. What do you call this properly? We call it. We call this temperature. You need to control. <laughs> Some people press down to temper it, to control. But true temperature means enjoying your temperature instead of pressing down. Everything should be very beautiful. So that is T. Temperance. That's fresh air. So in case of the bean, it needs nusta. So for beans, it needs nusta program. Let's, let's take out two of them. No planting and no sunlight. Let's just have water, temperance, and air. Now the bean cannot multiply then. Now this bean will not become a plant, but it will become a sprout. Now it had all the genes in its cell, but then these genes will not be turned on. Why? Because this basic environment is not provided. So not only the spark, but also the nice, good, proper condition and environment should be provided. And then 100% fully, it will function. You need to work 100%. You need to function 100% to get better. If you say, oh, the spark, oh, I need the spark. Oh, I need to have a right diet. I have to drink four bottles of water every day. If you think like this way, it's not going to work. You cannot heal your sickness technically, but at least you can give yourself treatment. You don't need this new start program when you receive just treatment. You can just pay money and get your medicine and take it. Your symptoms will be relieved a little. You know, I took painkiller pills. I haven't taken them like for a long, long time, but I took it. I went to America, and uh, one of my friends, dentist, he said, I'm going to implant your teeth, six of them. Very expensive. Oh, wow, y you're fast. You're, you can calculate really fast. Yes, yeah, very expensive. Wow. 
it was so painful. Oh, it was very painful. You know, I can take those pains, but this time, it was so painful. Oh, it was very strange. It was a very strange feeling. You know, they said, I have to implant the bone. They say they have to thicken my bone. To thicken my bone, they have to take other bones, and then they have to implant that bone up in front. And they were actually planting it in front. <laughs> ah, to take those. <laughs> so to take those, you know, bone, ah, it was really <laughs> painful. <laughs> ah, took a long time. Three hours of operation. And after that, ah, I felt numb. I felt <laughs> very <laughs> painful. I couldn't even sleep. So I had to take the painkiller <laughs> pill. Wow, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. <laughs> After 30 minutes, oh, I was pain-free. And I was thinking, wow, that's why people take medicine. You know, medicine, any kind of medication is not good. But the reason why I took the medicine, even though I knew it is not good, I took it because I couldn't sleep. You know, one of the nights, uh, the effect of the painkiller went down in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep that night. Even though the painkiller pill is harmful, you need to take it to sleep because the advantage, the benefits you get from sleep is a lot better. It's greater than not taking the pills. We don't teach you to take the pills, but here in New Star practice, rest is very important. Now, these beans don't need rest because they don't move. Because they don't move, they don't need rest. So if you are not provided those basic environment, then even though those genes are programmed, recorded in the genes, it's not going to work. One of the serious problems in Korea is we have the lowest birth rate. French, Germany, Japan, they have low, late, lo low rate of birth, of course. But Korea is the lowest. French, Germany, Japan, they're about the same, but our country, Korea, is really low. And I was thinking, why? Why is the, what is the problem? Because we don't have the proper environment. For example, in animals' case, when you have wild animals in the zoo, they are not interested in multiplying. They are not interested in production. You know, when the male animal look at the female one, they don't. They are not interested. They are not so happy in the zoo. Oh, what a life, what a life. Then, 
those genes, production genes, are not turned off. Those basic instinct are turned off. And that's why they have artificial insemination, because they don't do it by themselves. We need to do the artificial insemination. So through this, when the baby's coming out, then the, the fee mothers don't want to raise their kids. Sometimes they'll even kill their babies. Because with this environment, they don't want to do it. So that's why they sometimes kill them. So when the baby's out, those zoo staff, they take them out and they raise the kids. The, they raise the babies of the animals. And when they show these cubs to the mothers, what was the reaction? Mothers, they forgot their maternity. They didn't have the maternity. Those maternity, those instinct is also programmed in the genes, but the gene is not working. Now let's look at this picture. Now this mother is embracing her little babies. Now she, her uh, maternity gene is working. But when her mother maternity genes are off, she doesn't care. So in animal society, When mothers are embracing their babies, that's also the program. That's the maternity genes. Now, T cell kills cancer cells. That's also instinct. You don't control those things because you don't even know you have cancer cells or not. Those genes are working according to their program. So when the program is not working, those T cells don't kill cancer cells, and that's why you get cancer. It's, it's like the same way with the maternity genes. Now, in the zoo, there's no infra, there's no environment good, proper environment. That's why their maternity genes are turned off. So basic, proper environment is very necessary. It is very important. That is why we practice this new start. That's why I am giving you this kind of lecture. Why? Because you didn't know. I was a doc I'm a doctor, but I didn't know. I thought I could do whatever I wanted to do. But we have this principle, this is the truth. Eat whatever you want to eat. Sleep whenever you want to sleep. When you're tired, go to bed. You don't need to sleep at night. This is not right. You need to sleep at night. We have these rules and principles. We're going to learn this thing, these things. As modern technology and medicine is has developed, these things are shown and revealed. Now, maternity instinct is also a program. Now, let's look at this kind of program. I'll give you another example. The title of the The title of this report is Understanding the Behavior.
understanding the genetic construction of behavior. So we say, ah, mothers, children are after their parents. Let's say, there's a father, and this father got married, and after the first night of the marriage, uh, his father went to the war, and then he died in the war. Now, this baby hasn't seen his father, but then he acts like his father. He's after the father, even though he, this boy hasn't seen his father. So these behavior even inherits? Yes, it inherits. Even that kind of action. Son also follows that kind of things. If father has some kind of mental problems, and then the son has that. And mother has cancer, and then, you know, girl also has higher possibilities to have cancer as well. So everything inherits. So before you have a baby, you need to restore your genes. Those are fruit flies. Now we magnify these little fruit flies. They eat only sugar. They are very pretty. Now the action when the male and the female meet is very interesting. They do according to the program that they have in their genes. That's why we say genetic construction of behavior. Now this is the female one, and that is the male one. Now, in our case, if you're interested, if a man is interested in a woman, he follows the woman. But in case of fruit flies, it's not going to make it. Male fruit flies should approach front from the front. But if the if the male one approaches from the left side of the female, it's not going to work. But if the male approaches her from the right side, especially 45 angle, then it's going to work. Must be 45 degree angle. Then female knows that this male is interested in her. According to the program, they just know it. But if the male is coming from the other side, then doesn't care. But <laughs> if the male is coming from the right side, 45 degree angle, then the female knows what he's up to. They're all programmed in that way. Of course, they didn't program by themselves, but it is written in their genes. You know, genes are the letters. I will tell you more about that later. By the way, back to the fruit fly story. Now, these females' case, now they realize, oh, he's interested in me. As they recognize the male one, now she has this program how to express her feelings.
when your husband approaches you, what did you do? <laughs> oh, I acted like I didn't. I'm not. I wasn't interested. <laughs> you know, this female acts like she's not interested. She acts like she's not interested. It's like the same way with us and the fruit flies. You know, females, we don't understand females. Anyways, this male didn't give up. And this male came up to her and, oh, let's have some tea time. And this female knows everything, but then she pretends that she's she doesn't know. So what do you, what do you want? And then this male changed his position. Now it's 90 degree. Of course, right side. It should be the right side. It approaches 90 degree angle, and then it starts singing love song. It should be the right side of the wings. Everything should be the right side. So he's just singing with his right side wings. <laughs> Loving songs. He's singing love songs <laughs> to the female one. Ten years ago, I was singing to my wife <laughs> this way. <laughs> and then, then female cooperates. And then they mate. And finally, everything is completed. Everything is complete. Of course, these flight fruit flies don't know but they behave according to the program. Our life is the same way. We are not supposed to live whatever we want to do. These insects, these animals don't live whatever they want to do. They live according to the providence. We also have the providence in our lives. We don't live whatever we want to live. But people can live whatever they want to live. Well, animals and insects, they don't do this, and they can't do this anyways. They follow their providence. But then, we human beings, we don't follow these this providence. Why? Why is that? Because we have free will. Our creator gave us this freedom. Even though we have the providence, but our creator said, if you, you have the providence, but if you don't want to, you can live whatever you want to, but then you will have some problems. So I really beg you to live according to the providence. That is our crea creator. That's how it works. <laughs> so you know we have the right to get sick. It sounds funny, but then we have the right to get sick. Why? Because we have this freedom of choice. You know, we have this freedom of choice. This is a wonderful thing. You can live according to your will. But you know, you will have a problem. So if you have a problem, you can come back to me. That's also the choice. That is God. Isn't it wonderful? We have the choice to go back to him. 
Now people say, we believe you, we believe God. And then later they said, you know, what happened to me? Why me? Why do I get sick? You know, because God gave us the freedom of choice, we can get sick. If God says, you know, you have to eat brown rice only and you have to drink water only, not coffee, then you will not get cancer. You will have a healthy life. But that kind of life is like animal's life. You're submitted and you will live like a robot. But for us, God wants to have a fellowship with us. It's not about ordering. According to your will, you will live. You, we will become friends. We will share love together. For that, God gave us the freedom of choice. And that's why this world is very contradictory. Even though we are imperfect, God gave us the freedom of choice. And that's why we choose those things that we are not supposed to choose. But then God is patient with us. Until when? Until we make a right choice, God is patient with us. Now, new start, that is our choice. Yes, louder. Yes. Practicing new start is what I meant. New start doesn't simply mean you will get better. It's not just about getting better. But you have to understand why you get sick in a bigger frame, bigger picture. And then you realize, oh, that's why. Now, honestly speaking, everybody will get sick. It's just a matter of the time. Just a matter of time. Everybody will get sick in this world. That's not strange. Now, we have the lowest baby rate in the world. Why? Because Korean women, they're competing. They're living a very stressful life. The noise and an environment. You know, apartment, it's very noisy. If it is along the street, very noisy. You know, it's, it's like you're living in the zoo. You need to run, you need to go hiking. But then instead, you're always worried and stressed about your life. You know, you don't feel like having a baby. Then and they don't want to have a baby. And they don't want to even get married. You know, men and women, you know, if they see couples, oh, I want to be, you know, I want to get married, I want to have kids like, like them. But then instead, they think, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, what a pain. They don't recognize, they don't realize that true happiness is in pain. They don't know that they can find happiness in raising children. They just look at the fact. They only look at the fat, fact. You know, when you look at other people, you know, they take care of little babies and bathe them. And, you know, sometimes it looks very troublesome. You know, if you have babies, you can't sleep. You have a lot of laundry. You have to take them to the hospital. Yes, a lot of things to do. But in the process, you know, when you bathe the babies, you will see, you know, their smile and their cute little moves. You can find happiness 
there, they don't give their value to this. They just say, ah, oh, it takes money only. You know, you can't buy this kind of happiness with money. But now the money is more important. That's the most serious problems that Koreans have. Now, young people in Korea, they will get sick if they go this way because they don't have the spark. They don't seek the truth, the goodness, and the beauty in life. So the good, proper environment is very important and necessary. We say this proper environment in New Star pro program, we call this infra. Now, infra, spelling is I-N-F-R-A. Infra means under. Now, the opposite of infra is supra, up, above. So the foundational condition means infra. To build an apartment with a building, you need to have a good foundation. Those facilities, we call it infrastructure. For example, you plant the uh, telephone line and the water and everything, and the pipe, you know, you have to get ready for this building. We call this infrastructure. So instead of infrastructure, we use infra. So sometimes our government gives infra support. So New Start is infra. So what is supra in New Start? That's the spark. The spark comes from the above, and the infra is under. But that is New Start. Now, in case of animals, they need to exercise because they're not planted. They need to exercise. You know, many people think exercise is not so important. But if you don't exercise every day, you will miss something. Now, I will tell you more of this later. Now, if you don't exercise, your mitochondria, your capillaries, they all shrink. If you don't exercise one day, it shrinks. So the exercise is very important. You know, but even though you don't exercise, you know, you don't feel really bad. But then even though you can't see this, see the result, but yes, you do will ha you will have disadvantage. You know, I arrived from America the other day, and up until yesterday, I didn't really feel good. And this morning, and this morning after the lecture, I wanted to have a rest, but then I went somewhere. I went hiking for an hour. After that, oh, I felt much better. You know, I wanted to have a sleep because of the time differences. 
but after I exercise, I feel much better. Animals must exercise. Now, you get tired after that, so you need to take a rest. So exercise and rest are necessity. Without those two, there's no infra. So animals, okay, in case of plants, they need nusta, and in case of Animals, they need new star. And for human beings, we need to add one more. Now, T represents trust, faith, belief. Now, you need to believe, yes, that is correct. Now, when you believe, you choose. Because I believe, I choose. You decide to do it. You, need, you decide to practice New Start. Then, that's the true infra. So, we human beings... Should practice new start. Why? Animals need just new star, but why do we need new start? Because of the freedom of choice. Animals don't have the freedom of choice. They have to do it. But for us, we have the freedom of choice. As we listen, as we believe, as we believe, we choose. So we need new start. Now, do you understand what new start is about? You should practice new start. If you don't practice new start, but you do other things, then it's going to be just a treatment for your symptoms. And that's why you have second attack. And you get sick. Uh, there's a uh, young woman. She had a little lump in her thyroid. What does that mean, this lump? You know, normal cells, they don't form lumps. Healthy, normal cells, they have good programs. For example, they are going to culture the cells in the laboratory and then those cells grow and they, they contact as they grow. Now those healthy cells, they talk. They talk to each other. Hey, hi. Oh, your cell. Oh, hi, how are you? They talk. And then they discuss. Should we go up or should we go up? Should we go up or would you be down? Or, you know, they compromise. So when they contact, they talk, and then they go up and down. No problem there. So when they culture those healthy, normal cells, they form layers. They form layers, first, second, and third. So as they form layers, they cannot form lumps. Now, why do they have lumps? Why? Sometimes you have lumps in your thyroid and uterus and col colon and liver. 
Oh, it's not cancer. It is not cancer. That's malignant tumor. Okay, we call those things tumor, malignant tumor. But these lumps, we call it benign tumor. They are not malignant. Malignant and benign tumors are different. What's the difference? Now, those malignant tumor, they spread. They transfer to other places. For example, you have a benign tumor in the river. They, those benign tumors know that they are supposed to be in the liver. But then if, it trans if it's changed to malignant, then they are not sure if they are liver cells or not. So uh, was I a liver cell or a lung cell? So they want to travel around. And that's why malignant tumor spreads. But then benign tumor stays. Well, even though I'm changed, this is my home. I am thyroid cell. I am a liver cell. So I have to stay in the liver. So they don't spread. So they don't spread. They stay. But malignant tumor, they spread. Because they don't know their identity. Now, benign tumor, is that normal? No, actually not. Because it formed lump. Well, the character, the nature has changed. So even though it's a benign tumor, it changes worsely, then it becomes malignant tumor. Do you understand? So when you have a benign tumor, doctors say, it's okay. Now, why do they say it's okay? Because they say it's okay because it's not going to spread. But actually, 100% okay? No. My breast cells, my liver cells, my thyroid cells, my colon cells. Why did they change and form a lump? They have to, you know, understand these cause. Now, you know, the cells, when they are changed, when they contact together, they fight, they argue. No, we're going to go up. We're going to go up. They argue. They don't talk. Instead of forming layers, they make, they form lumps. So let's say the cell, cha cell is changed, means the genes are changed. Now, if the genes are restored back, then those lumps, oh, you know what? Oh, we were a little strange. And oh, let's make layers instead. And then, you know, lumps can be gone. Lumps can be gone when your genes are restored. So when you know, you have hope. Oh, that's how it was. Then those turned off genes, those changed genes will be enlightened. They'll be activated. So when we have this infra, proper environment and we receive those truth, goodness, the beauty, love, faith, hope. When you feel these things unconsciously, your changed genes will be restored, your turned off genes will be turned on and you will go back to normal and you will be healed. That theory is the New Start theory. Is it clear? 
But then you don't have this proper environment, but then you don't have the spark, and let's just, you know, operate. That's not good. And that's why you have the second attack. So I told you this morning that you are a digital machine, but then people treat you as an analog machine. Now, modern medicine, they realize that, oh, human beings are digital. Right after they realize the genes, right after they study the genetics, now they try now to move to the digital technology. But the problems like chemotherapy and operation, all those kind of treatment are developed when the doctors didn't know the genes. And every facilities, facilities are uh, prepared according to that analog system. Now to change digital technology, they have financial problem, very serious financial financial problems. Even though they have the pressure to change into digital technology, but then they can't really change it because they face so many problems. So a lot of doctors concern. They're very concerned because they realize the problems, but they can't really practice. Now the digital technology, you need to have the spark and you have to have the right proper environment. That's the digital way. Well, you know what? It doesn't take money. The spark, that's for free. You don't have to pay for that. And then infra, proper environment, almost all of them are for free. So maybe it is going to influence our economy. Doctors and nurses and, you know, medical staff, they're going to lose job. So the system cannot be changed easily. You know, pharmaceutical companies and, you know, there are a lot of employers there. If you practice New Start, you don't need a lot of staff. You need just the volunteers. But those volunteers, you know, are not paid. And one of the biggest reasons for volunteers to be here, to come here, uh, they are here to share the goodness. When they share the goodness, they receive the spark. And you know, while they are here, they have wonderful environment so patients and the volunteers you know they have about the same situation so it's good for everybody you know it doesn't take much money the problem is I can make money have you ever calculated? Do you think I can make money? No, not really. Uh, if you pay three times more than now, maybe I can make money. You know, I need to make, you know, money. But it's going to burden you, so...
Even though we have very little income, because this is the truth, this is the way for you to get healed, I am very happy and I'm very glad. I am confident. Even though I don't make a lot of money, right now, I feel much better. I told you the other night that I, my, my sicknesses, my illnesses are all gone. No, I am healthier than ever. Very healthier than ever. Isn't it exciting? It's very exciting. I don't envy a lot of money. I really want you to get the spark and get the proper environment so that you can find the true way of your life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I realize what Jesus said. And that is wonderful. That is wonderful. I really hope you succeed. Everybody, come on. Yeah. I really hope you succeed.